We're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 divided by x squared minus cotan of x divided by x. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is rewrite my cotan and, uh, as a tan. So we're going to write this as the limit as x approaches 0. And we're going to have 1 divided by x squared minus, and we're just going to write 1 divided by x times tan of x. So it's an equivalent expression. The next thing I want to do is write this with the common denominator. So put this together. And f uh, usually it would just be, um, common denominator would be x squared times x. But what I'm going to do is let it be x cubed um, times tan of x like that. Um, that's not your least common denominator, but it's common denominator. And then when you cross up like this, you're going to get x tan of x minus x squared. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is um, uh, write this as the limit as x approaches 0. Factor out an x. So you factor out an x, you're going to get x tan of x minus uh, x divided by x cubed tan of x. I can split this up now and write it as two different limits. So I'm going to pull out the x and the tan of x because um, it will look like this and I know that equals 1. So I'm going to write the limit as x approaches 0 of tan of x divided by x uh, cubed and this is minus x, sorry, times, so we're going to multiply this times the limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by tan of x. So basically this is just 1 and we're multiplying this by 1. Like that. Alright, now from there um, we're going to simplify even further and uh, write this as, um, let's see, I'm, let's see what we have. We have um, the limit as x approaches 0 of tan of x minus x divided by x cubed. So this has the form of 0 divided by 0 now. Um, so therefore, we're going to use L'Hopital's rule and differentiate our numerator and our denominator. So for the numerator, I'm going to get secant squared of x minus 1. And for my denominator, I'm going to get 3x squared. All right. Since this, also, this has the same form, when you substitute in 0, uh, secant, the limit, as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x equals 1. So you'd have uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then the denominator would be 0. So we still have this uh, indeterminate form. So we're going to use L'Hopital's rule again. So let's do that. So this is going to equal 2 secant squared of x times tan of x. And the 1 will go away. Denominator we get 6x. Uh, Alright, so basically uh, this right here is 1 third. So I can pull that out and write uh, 1 third. This equals 1 third times the limit as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x tan of x divided by x. All right. Now, we already know that secant squared of x equals 1. So I can uh, uh, pull this out and separate it out as 1 third times the limit as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x times the limit as x approaches 0 of uh, tan of x.
divide it by x. So I just uh, moved, separated this out. Okay, we know this equals 1. We know this equals 1. So we get 1 third basically times 1 times 1, which equals 1 third. And that is your limit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.